Happy Saturday night, peeps. It doesn't matter if it's Saturday night, Monday night, Wednesday night. Every day seems the same. But I hope you all being safe. First off, I do want to give a shout out to, to the supermarket people, the cops, the EMTs, the, of course the doctors and nurses who are on the front line of this really horrible thing. My heart goes out for you. I pray for you every single night. And if you do have to go to the supermarket, please, or you see someone, please thank them personally. It'll, it goes a long way in showing how much we do appreciate them. So tonight's musical background music, I can't say guest because he's not here. Nobody's here except me and the dogs. Tommy Tejan and the Wild Years is the name of his CD. I think he just recently did a uh, snippet on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, excuse me, Facebook. So... Tonight, I'm going to give you a little history that I read up on about the Long Island iced tea. And um, I'm going to show you how to make it, but be prepared. It's a boozy cocktail. So me, you know me, I'm a lightweight. I'm going to try to do as little as I can. I'm not going to use, make my normal cocktail. All right, so it says, the history states that at some time in the, nor- in the 1920s, when jazz was hot and uh, prohibition was raging... A gentleman man named Old Man Bishop out of Long Island, a community in Long Island, Kingsport, Tennessee, made a cocktail that he he used rum, vodka, whiskey, gin, tequila, and maple syrup and called it the Long Island Iced Tea. Is it true? Who knows? We don't know. In 1961, the recipe appeared in the Betty Crocker cookbook, actually the year I was born, yeah. And now, fast forward about 50 years... In 1972, Robert <laughs> Butt entered a contest at the OP, Oak Beach Inn, OBI, as all you all Long Islanders, us older Long Islanders, know and remember so well. He entered a contest and he used all the white liquors, vodka, gin, rum, tequila, triple sec, added sour mix, and a little Coke for color. Voila, the proper Long Island iced tea was born. I know California, they do a little weird stuff. They add cranberry, aren't whatever. No. Long Island iced tea, the way I make it, the way everyone who should make it, is this way. The guy, the guy, old man Bishop, honey, that was a great try, but it's not a Long Island iced tea. All right. Don't want to bash him, but anyway. So, first we take a shaker. Oh, remember we're talking about glassware. We always talk about proper glassware. You would drink a regular iced tea out of the, a glass... I'm going to use a regular ginormous highball glass, tea glass, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to put a lot of ice in there. So we take a pint glass shaker, glass shaker. Now, you know, I always tell you, if you're making for other people, use tongs. I'm here by myself. All by myself. So we're going to add a lot of ice. Some people don't add the ice till after they mix the cocktail, and I get that because they don't want to water it down. This needs to be watered down as far as I'm concerned. So normally, I have my pourers on all the bottles, but because that all my bottles are different shapes, I'm not going to use the pourers. So I'm actually going to use one of these guys. So first, we're going to take... Now, I just remember to tell people... And every time the set a bar has been set up since I was 17 and a bartender, it was always vodka, gin, rum, tequila, triple sec, and then the other stuff. So that's kind of, I think, how this guy came up with the cocktail. So we're going to do, it says three quarters ounces. That's what we're doing. Vodka. I'm going to use some Sutler's Gin. This is made in North Carolina. I met these guys at a, an event that I was working at. They so kindly gave me a bottle. They made a really delicious cocktail where I'm actually going to call him and see. Well, it's more for the fall, though. And then, you know, once we move forward, we'll try to make that cocktail for you because it was delicious. Three quarters of a shot of gin. Mm, gin reminds me of Christmas. I guess it's the juniper berries. We gotta do some rum. I always like the white rum. Dark rum has its place, but for a cocktail like this, white rum was fine. Silver, whatever they call it. Now that's rum. We've had the vodka, gin, rum, and now comes tequila. Tequila! All 
Okay, you can see that that's a lot of booze. Most people put an ounce of each. I'm using three quarter ounce because, you know, I'm a lightweight. Now, normally people use sour mix that's already sweetened already, so I'm gonna use my trusty lemon juice. I'm gonna say a lot. Can you see that? You wanna give it that lemony color. Now, as you all know from prior episodes, I'm a sweet girl. I love sweet. So I'm gonna add my homemade simple syrup, organic sugar and water, 50-50. Very easy, whisk over a hot um, saucepan, a hot stove, but do not walk away. Let it go till it goes clear and you're good. Then, we're gonna take this and Shake, shake, shake. You know what? I like it super cold. Oopsie. Now we're going to pour that into the glass. Wow, wrong glass. So used to making them in pint glasses at the club. Of course, we're going to add lots more ice. And then we add just a touch of Coca-Cola for the color. Color's looking pretty good. Maybe a little more Coke. And a freshly cut lemon to garnish it with. You know, I love rockabilly kind of music, and this is kind of rockabilly-ish. Or maybe 60s kind of. I don't have to ask him what he thinks. Okay, lemon. Squeeze that baby in there. Cheers. A proper Long Island iced tea. Oh, my God. I do make the best Long Island iced teas. Cheers, everybody. Hope you enjoyed my silliness. Again... Background music, Tommy Tejan, The Wild Years. Tips are not necessary. You can Venmo me, Jenny Son 629 I don't care. I'm doing this to keep myself from going bonkers. And all my jewelry is made. This is a knotted silk lariat, my earrings, my bracelets, all made by me. So you can check out my stuff at Sunlit and Happy on Etsy.com. You guys have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.